Today I'm doing a quick little comparison video between the two most popular rifle platforms in Ghost of Tabor. Obviously, you have the fan favorite, M4, and you have the fan favorite, AK Alpha. This is not a, I believe this weapon is better video. This is merely me comparing recoil, uh, recoil patterns and the cost per setup. As you can see, both of these are pretty much set up identically. I do have the flashlight on the M4, but other than that, pretty much identical. The only real difference being the drums. 60 round drums on the M4, 75 round drums on the, the AK Alpha. So I guess that could be one little win for AK Alpha. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be standing with my back up against here, as far back as I can, and I'm going to be shooting that wall without countering any of the recoil. Now, to make this as fair as possible, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be setting my hands on a table that I have set up here. That way, I cannot move my hands down or left and right. I am merely firing the weapon and letting the weapon recoil as it will. I Again, I cannot move my hands down or left to right to try to counter the recoil. My hands are stuck. So, aiming at the wall, and I'm going to actually aim at a bit of an angle. I've been killed by recoil doing this test already. Aiming at the wall, letting the recoil do its thing. 5.56 M4 full auto 30 round mag. Not quite a completely fair test, but you get the point. Test 2, 30 round mag. As you can see, pretty fair amount of recoil on that if you're not countering it. One nice thing I'll say about it is that for the most part it's fairly straight up and down. Not too much side to side at all. That's nice. But it is a fair amount of recoil, more than I expected to be honest. Alright, let's switch it over to the AK Alpha. Again, aiming at the wall, far back as I can, hands on table, cannot move up, down, left, right, firing. Firing. AK Alpha is a fantastic weapon. Very close grouping. For the most part, almost straight up and down. But very little recoil on that. Especially when you are doing your best to counter that recoil. AK Alpha is a fantastic weapon. Let's do a quick little comparison test when you're actually trying to stop the bullets from controlling your weapon all over the place. Just to be clear, my hands are not on the table at this point. I am trying to counter it normally, the way I normally would. The thing I notice with the AK Alpha is that I start to fire. There's a fair amount of recoil right at the beginning. 
and then it settles down to almost no recoil. M4 kind of got away from me there for a second. But as you can see, there is a comparison between the two at full auto. Now, to be clear, both of these weapons are very good weapons. There's different use cases for each one and different points where each one is stronger. The M4, I think, works as a good all-around gun because it, work, uh, it works better at long range. The AK Alpha, it pretty much just shreds at medium and short ranges. It's a toss-up. They're both fantastic weapons. The downside is the price. AK Alpha, fully kitted up as it were here. You go to buy this thing. You're paying 82000 If you've got 82000 laying around and you want to run around with pretty much the best weapon in the game, then who cares? The M4. Fully kitted up. 47. It's still an expensive weapon. They're both expensive weapons to be running around with. Pros and cons. Both fantastic weapons. Love the AK. Love the M4. I run the M4 a lot more because I can afford it. But the AK, it's a great weapon. Again, this is not a comparison. This is not a this weapon is better. This is merely comparing and showing some of the minor differences that you see in the game.